Hello and welcome to another video of Circuit Digest. In this video, we'll be showing you how you can build yourself this digital cracker just like this one. And as the name implies, it's a digital cracker. So what we have done is we have used a speaker to imitate a sound of a bomb and we have used some 3D uh, printing enclosure on top of it to give it a cool look just like this one. And we have also the basic circuit over here we have used an arduino a sound module a amplifier module and a 7805 voltage regulator to build all this circuit so what is happening right now is this is the power pin of the circuit as you can see and we are powering it with this uh, 12 volt lithium battery right here so when we power the circuit the uh, amplifier is powered by the 12 volt input over here and it is it's also converted to 5 volt to power the audio um, audio generation module and the arduino so what is happening right now is when we uh, like li this is the fuse by the way uh, this is uh, what acts as a fuse and it's a thermistor so when we apply heat to the thermistor it sends a signal to the arduino and the arduino randomly selects uh, between two or three sounds uh, and the sounds get played through the uh, speaker we have also included a potentiometer over here to adjust the loudness of the cracker so this is basically it for a simple circuit and if you want to build it yourself do check out the link given in the description so which will redirect you to our blog where we have mentioned all the details so check that out if uh, out if you are interested in this project we have also included the stl files uh, so that you can print this thing so let me just turn the lights off power it on and see what this what happens so as you can see the circuit is powered on and if i just give some heat to the uh, thermistor you will see that the circuit gets triggered uh, uh, so as you can see if we apply some heat to the circuit you can see the uh, led lights up produce this uh, loud boom and produce a sound that it exploded so inside here we have used some ws2812b's